Hey there, folks. Good morning. Uh-oh. Today's show might be short. This is my last week. Of oh, I gotta turn the microphone on. Hey, good morning, folks. This is Tom Rigsby, and uh, my name's Tom Rigsby, and this is 7 Minutes in the Morning, and this might be a short show because this is my last week of coffee. But, be that as it may, we will uh, get into into today's topic and run with it from there. Good morning to you, Joe. If you are watching with Joe, either live, you would be watching with Joe, or on the replay, you'd be watching after Joe. But do what Joe did, and leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you are here. That's always awesome to see uh, everybody who comes on. And a quick reminder, if you're watching the video, you can also catch this on your podcast catcher on iTunes, uh, Stitcher, uh, Spreaker, I think it's the other one, TuneIn, all kinds of places. And if you're listening on one of those, head over to the good old Facebook and say hi. All right, so yesterday, uh, if you had a chance to listen to the radio show yesterday, you know that we were... Um, Pursued? No, that's not the right word. Wait, the, the little technical difficulty gremlins were running all over the building yesterday. I couldn't get the live stream working to start with. The computer was all messed up. So we, I mean, it was just one of those days. And I spent a good portion of the show yesterday talking about that, but I also wanted to... Um, hold on there one second. Let's do this. And see if that doesn't give us a little better audio. I wanted to um, elaborate on that just a little bit because I found a quote today. <laughs> if you watched as me, would that confuse me? Yes, that would be confusing. <laughs> Good morning to you, sir. And hey, um, while I'm talking, leave me a comment down here. And let me know uh, or send me a text, either one, what we're doing with the coffee shop show so I can appropriately encourage everyone after that. All right, so this morning I came across this quote that applies to yesterday's um, challenges. It says, stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. And so, yes, that's from Tony Robbins. Yesterday we, you know, we had all these technical difficulties going on with the show and uh, with the radio show. And it was just one thing after another, and it was frustrating. We talked during the show about how even if you make, you know, the best plans, something can happen. I mean, you might, you might go for weeks promoting this special event, a sale, or, you know, whatever, and you show up at the shop and there's water two inches deep on the floor. Just happens, right? But, from this quote, I mean, this quote kind of encapsulates um, the the right way. I believe the right way to respond to that very well. Stay committed to the decision, or or I'm going to replace decisions with outcome. Stay committed to the outcome, and but stay flexible in your approach. If you can deliver quality content, if you deliver quality results. For your client, how you do it, where you do it becomes less important. Might they be, uh, might their routine be disturbed a little bit? Might they, you know, I use the example of a coffee shop that had, you know, there's a wreck and now there's power lines down in the, in, the, in front of the only entrance to the parking lot. Okay, we'll find another way to get them a cup of coffee. If you can still deliver the promise, then then that will just be a momentary inconvenience. The problem comes when we get so close, we get so dedicated and demanding to solving the problem the way we decided to solve it, that we can't, we just quit. Well, I can't do that, so we're just not going to do it. Well, that doesn't make sense. But that happens all the time. I, I mean, I... In my coaching practice happens all the time. I get a client that says, um, I'm trying to add 100 new customers in March. Well, why are you trying to add 100 new customers in March? Because I need, um, you know, they, that's the solution. They have decided that that's the solution to some other problem. I'm like, well, how about if we can solve that problem in some other way? Instead of adding 100 new customers, let's raise your price. 
right? I mean, there are other ways to solve the problem, but we get this idea in our head, it gets stuck in there, and then we can't see any other way to do it, and then it, the answer might be sitting right here. You know, I, uh, who was I, talk, oh, I was talking to somebody yesterday after the show. We were talking about how you know it started to rain, the floodwaters were rising, guy had to get up on the roof of, the, of his house. Another guy comes by in a boat and says, uh, hey, I'm here. You want to hop in the boat and take you to safety? No, no, that's okay. God's going to provide. Well, that happens two more times. He turns both of them down. Finally, waters rise. The guy drowns. He dies, goes to heaven. He's mad. And he says, dude, I believed in you. You, you, you were going to save me. Why didn't you save me? And God said, well, I sent you three boats. Right. Sometimes the answer can be right there staring us in the face, but we're so doggedly determined to do it the way we decided to do it that we can't see those answers. So what is something if, if you are struggling with creating an outcome? This is my question slash admonition for you today. If you are struggling with creating an outcome, is it because of the way you decided to solve the problem? Maybe. You should consider alternatives. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. Hey, uh, let's see what uh, Eric said here about the show. Yes. All right. So, good. Going to have, uh, we will have the coffee shop show today at 9 o'clock. That's two, a little less than two hours from now. Be sure and join us for that. Uh, you can find that at thecoffeeshopshow.com or here on my page or on Eric's page. If you're not following Eric, by the way, click through on his comment now. Go over there and do that. He's got, he puts out great stuff every day at night. I do seven o'clock. He does nine o'clock. I don't know. Maybe he sleeps later than I do. I don't know. Anyway, good stuff to, to, uh, to follow. Hey, thank you for being here. Hey, Vicki. It's good to see you this morning too. We will, uh, that's it for today. Yeah. Want to wrap this show up? See you on the coffee shop show and see you back here. Again, tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday.